Hi friends, welcome to the channel. In this video, we'll see about the answers to week 7, assignment 7 for NPTEL course on Introduction to Database Systems. The due date for this assignment is March 12, 2023. So let's get into the video. The first question is, a functional dependency x determines y holds on a schema r if in dash legal instances of r it satisfies the functional dependency. Choose the appropriate word that can be filled in the blank. The answer to this is every instance of R. The next question is, one or more of the following phrases can be used to correctly complete the sentence. A functional dependency is a dash of a relation. Property of a specific attribute or a constraint on the data or a property of the schema or a property of a specific row. The right answer is only P2 and P3. It is a constraint on the data and it is a property of the schema. The next question is, recall the definition of functional dependency x determines y and identify the false statement. A functional dependency is a constraint on the values of two sets of attributes of a relational schema. Uh, so this is true. A val the values of x component of a tuple uniquely determines the values of y component. This is also true. The values of the x component of a tuple functionally determines the values of the y component. This is also true. Whenever x determines y holds on a relation R, y determines x also holds. This is this need not be necessarily always true. So the false statement is option D. The next one is any given relation in a relational DB is always in dash. It is always in first normal form. So the answer is 1NF. The next question is, complete the following statement by picking up the appropriate expressions for expression 1 and expression 2. An FD x determines y where expression 1 is called a trivial FD, whereas an FD x determines y where expression 2 is called as a non-trivial FD. So the answer to this is, expression y is for a trivial FD, y is a subset of x. And for a non-trivial FD, whenever you have a FD x determines y, y need not is not a subset of x. The next question is, consider a relation A, B, C, D, E, F, G, relation with attributes A to G and an FD set which contains A determines B, B, D determines E, F, A, C determines D, B determines G and A, G determines C. Find the attribute closure for A. So here the attribute closure A plus will be containing the attributes A, B, C, D, E, F and G. With A you will be able to generate all of the attributes A, B, C, D, E, F and G. The next question is consider a relation R which contains P, Q, R, S, T, U attributes and the FD set which contains P determines Q, P determines R, R, S determines T, R, S determines U and Q determines T and the statements given below. PS determines TU can be derived from F and QR determines U can be derived from F. Choose the correct option. The right answer to this is S1 is true. PS determines TU can be determined derived from F. That is with P and S you will be able to derive Q and with Q you can derive T and um, with uh, since you have uh, P, you can, with P you can derive R. So with R and S you can derive T. So PS derives T, U can be derived from F. This is true. QR derives U can be derived from F. So with Q and R you can derive T. But for deriving U you always need an S. So there is no way you can derive an S with Q and R alone. So S2 is false. The next question is. Consider the following FD set on a relation R which contains the attributes A, B, C, D, E. A, B determines C, B, C determines D, A, B determines D, D determines E and B, C determines E. Choose the correct option. So here which is redundant? So if, if you analyze the attributes A, B determines D and B, C determines E, both of them are redundant since you already have A, B and B, C. So it is not necessary to have AB determines D and BC determines E. Then next question is consider the following sets. S1 contains P, Q and R where P stands for union rule, Q stands for pseudo transitive rule and R stands for decomposition rule. And accordingly we need to map the rules. So the right answer is for P it is Y. That is the union rule is 
if A determines B, A determines C, then we can say A determines BC. Then the next one for Q, the mapping is X. The pseudo transitive rule is A determines B, CB determines D, then you have CA determines D. And for R, that is the decomposition rule is, the mapping is W. That is, if A determines B holds and C is a subset of B, then A determines C holds. The next question is choose which of the following statements are true. So, it is about Armstrong's axioms are sound or complete. So, the true statements are S2 and S3. Armstrong's axioms are sound. That means if X determines Y is deducted from F using axioms, then X determines Y is true in any relation in which the FDs of F are true. And S3 is Armstrong's axioms are complete. That is, any FD X determines Y, which is logically implied by F, can be derived from F using Armstrong's axioms. So that is all with all the answers. See you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.